All right, so it's finally happened. You've finally gotten a call back from one of the venture capital firms out of the hundreds you've been cold calling. It's your time, it's your opportunity. You get to pitch your idea. You're gonna become a billionaire worth a $100 billion company, become a unicorn. Just one problem, you've never done a pitch before in your life. So what do you do? That's what we're here to answer in this video. We're gonna talk about how to record a pitch deck so you can get feedback, make it better, and you can finally sell your amazing idea where it's just like Facebook with some minor tweaks. But let's get into it. All right, recording your pitch is easy. All you need to do is go to expert.com, sign up, download Expert Presenter, load in your slides, it can be PDF, PowerPoint, Google Slides, set up your microphone so it records your voice, and then hit record and go through your whole presentation. Once it's done, it'll automatically upload to Expert Cloud and give you a link, but then you're asking, well, why do I wanna record my presentation? How is this gonna help me? So why are we recording this? for harsh, unrelenting criticism from our friends, family, and colleagues. That's right, you take that link, you send it to them, they'll be able to look at the recording and leave comments. And actually, hidden secret here that even I just found out about, you can actually manually input timestamps to kind of jump to where the comment is talking about. And it also gives you little shortcuts on when you jump through your different slides, but they leave comments, leave feedback on specific parts, you review it, you work on your presentation, work on your skills, improve it. You should actually probably do a few practice runs and listen to it yourself, then you know get that one good one, send it out. Because when you're working on something, you're really passionate about it, it can be hard to see like what the flaws are. You just want it to be good, you just think it's good, you've built it up in your mind. So it's really good to have people that you know don't have like your best friend, but have like your really good acquaintance look at it. You know, someone that could be objective, give you good feedback, maybe someone else in your industry, just as long as they don't take your idea. And it'll really help you get constructive feedback and improve your presentation or your pitch. All right, so you've done a couple runs. You have this presentation nailed. It's way better than before. You removed some slides that didn't make sense or some that confused you. Maybe add a slide that clarifies things, add a video, a little animation, a little splash, and you're ready to do the pitch. If you do it online, then you want to use Expert Presenter as well. You can add your camera, you can add some transitions, do some annotations. And all it is is a virtual camera that you add to whatever video chat software that you're using or video conferencing software. If you're doing an IRL, you can still use Expert Presenter. You can have it up on your laptop. Whatever display is connected to your laptop, you can actually project out to and then still have your notes and the slides in front of you. But let me know in the comments, do you have any tips? Like did, how did you bomb your first pitch or how did you nail your pitch? what closed the deal, what made the sale. Let us know in the comments, let us help each other out. Thanks again for watching, if this was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.